Hello, and welcome to another week at the bungalow. This week we're starting on the rafters. First up, few jobs to do on the roof. Make our lives a little bit more easy. So we're uh, trimming up the ply that we put down over the uh, roof joists or the floor joists. Uh, so they sit evenly across the joists, um, meaning we've got nice working platform for cutting up the rafters and for getting them up in the air. So while the ply's up and out of the way, taking advantage, finishing off a few jobs, and quite done. So there's a few herringbone straps that needed to be finished off. Uh, these were the last joists that we put in uh, before we put the main steel up. Also on the back deck, a few noggins to go in in the 300s, uh, basically because we ran out of screws. Simple as that, that one. So just getting them finished off. So as you can see we've already started on the on the rafters we've got the main ridge beam up there that's a 200 by 50 piece of timber six meters long so it goes the whole distance across and then our rafters are 150 by 50s so we're cutting the angle at the end with the circular saw and then using the jigsaw to take out the bird's mouth at the bottom Found this, this is the easiest way of doing it. Jigsaw's okay as long as you're going from a nice steep angle. If you try and run flash with the grain, it tends to push the blade out and you get a bit of a crooked cut. But we did exactly the same on the joist when we were cutting out and, and the jigsaw seems to work. A pretty aggressive blade on the jigsaw, which also helps. Nothing too fine, because we're obviously cutting big bits of timber. So working from a pattern, so the first drafter was used as the template for the, all the rest of them. Uh, that said all the way along the front here, so up to the point where it changes and we have the extra roof bit coming out the front. But as you can see all the way along the, the wall plate there, they're all identical. Spacing from the wall plate to the ridge beam is identical, so it made life nice and easy. Just a matter of cut, cut, using the pattern, drawing round, cutting out and repeating. Just using the spirit level to make sure that we're running parallel. So that when it comes time to put the battens across, all the rafters are nice and level. So rafter timber's 4.8 long, we're cutting off just a little bit of the bottom there, probably around 200-300 mil. Time to shift more timber up. With all the rain we've been having lately, timber's got wet and it's uh, nice and heavy. And they're more of the same. So just a matter of repeating the same process. Cutting the ends, cutting out the bird's mouth, and then sliding into place.
so these are the long spax bolts so as well as putting a couple of 80 mils into the uh, floor joists we're also driving these in So now those are all fixed into place, checking the levels on the others. And then the next section of timbers brought up and we're cutting the angles and the bird mounds on those. But pretty much more of the same. Manhandling and slotting them into place. We tend to go back to the, one of the original rafters and we measure back from that rather than measuring each one individually so we keep going back to the same place. Try and limit the mistakes. And then here where the rafters come down and meet the steel, we've got some noggins in place just hold the end of the joist, stop them moving around and the, uh, the rafters will come down and meet up. But before we get a load of timber in the way, just time to fix down the, the steel. So holes are drilled and then we epoxy bolt them down. Make a lovely fix in these ones. So this is the last of the bird mouths going in. And then the next ones you see, so the next few have like a V slot cut in the bottom and then they sit over the top of the steel. We we'll sort of bring up the timber in section so we're not cluttering the, the works, work area up. So here you can see at the bottom it's got a, like a V cut. And that sits with the bird mouth over the steel at the top and then this V cut into the, into the steel. At about midpoint we'll have a, a small wall coming down which will be the back of the bedrooms. Uh, so this will also work as support for the rafters. As we're closing up access, so at the back here there's um, small rafters coming down, just a few either side of the dormer. So this is time to get the steel in. Uh, this steel runs the deck joists that run in the opposite direction to support the we have a, um, a roof light going in above the seating area downstairs. So the pad stone was a little high, so just grinding it down so we can get the steel in. Quick measure, make sure we're in the right place, or at least the gaps even, and nice and level. And then same as the front, drilled through and then epoxy bolted in. And then this one is for lateral support, so the lateral braces. 
So on the other end it was nice and easy. Um, they were malted in with the new wall. But here where we're having to retrofit into the old wall, holes drilled through the wall and then these get fixed down onto the timbers with noggins and then they get malted into the existing, hold it all nice to uh, nicely together. And now that that job's done, 9mm ply can go back down and we can get the last few rafters in. So these are the tripled up rafters that will be supporting the dormer wall. And pretty much winds down the week. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you again on the next one.